Hi everyone, welcome to &E Gardens. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Please support the channel by planting that subscribe button. And if you're already a viewer, welcome back. Well, we're here in the greenhouse today, springtime, and we're stacking up our shelves with our canna lilies, getting them ready for sale. You know, it never ceases to amaze me how quick cannas can grow when in the right environment. I mean, these aren't even a month old. Now, for those who aren't familiar with growing canna lilies, first of all, shame on you, but really, there's two ways of growing canna lilies. One is by growing it from the rhizome. And the rhizome is the uh, root or the bulb that you save from the canna from the season before. You save it over the winter and it'll be ready for you in the spring. Now, the second way is to grow from seeds. Now, I find the more popular way for people is to grow from rhizomes. I mean, they rather have kind of an established root. They'll plant it, give it water and sun and let it grow. And people kind of tend to shy away from growing from seeds because there's a little bit of process to it. You have to kind of open up the seeds and germinate them and then, uh, and then plant them. Uh, you just can't just put them in a pot and hopefully they grow. There's, there's a bit of a step to it. Now, we grow them both ways here at J&D. We we've saved tons of rhizomes and thousands and thousands of seeds. And what I found is that we actually get a better return from growing from seeds. Uh, a lot of times, uh, we can start the seeds a lot earlier than the rhizomes. Rhizomes, uh, you know, sometimes they'll need the right soil temperature, e even in a greenhouse, and they'll kind of grow a little slower. Whereas they grow from seeds, uh, we can fit a lot more in our grow rack, grow them quickly, and then uh, uh, move them out here to our greenhouse. Now, I've actually done a video on uh, germinating or propagating canna lily seeds. So this one's going to kind of be a follow-up. I'm going to show you another method to germinate them that will make it actually a lot quicker. So why don't we head inside and I'll show you how it's done. So we're here in front of the grow rack. And as you can see, we have a lot of things going on. We have our tomatoes, we have our lettuce, we have our marigolds, and we have a fresh baby tray of cannas growing nicely here. And we have a brand new tray of little seedlings ready to go in the grow rack. But to get to this point, Let's travel back five days earlier and see how it all began. All right, so let's get started. If you're interested in canna seeds, you can uh, buy them on our Etsy site. We'll leave a link for it below. So let me uh, open one of these up. Now, just a refresher course on canna seeds. Canna seeds aren't like your typical seeds. They actually have a hard shell around them. And in order for them to start growing, you're going to have to break the shell a little bit so that the water can penetrate it. If not, it will take a long time, uh, sometimes even a couple of years, for it to break through naturally. So, uh, last video I showed you a couple of different methods on how to break the shell. And I'm going to show you uh, my favorite and I find to be the most effective. So I'll get uh, some kind of piece of wood just so I can uh, hold it on. And I will get a pair, a simple pair of pliers, like a small needle nose. And that's actually to hold it in place. And then what I like to do is I grab a file. And you can use any kind of file. This is a square file. So it has uh, four corners. And it's real simple. What I do is I'll hold the seed in place, take the file, run it across it, and it'll score it. If you can see the white area, the white area is the inside, that's where the water is going to penetrate through. So I'll score it once or twice, and what I like to do is I like to come in with the corner of it, which is why I use that, and put a groove in it. And if you can see that, has a little groove in it, and that allows the seed, allows water to penetrate the seed. So I'm gonna do a couple of those. I find this to be the quickest way. And then I just like that, run it through, put in. 
If you remember from the last video, I showed you with a saw and with a block. Uh, this is really the quickest way. Oh, see there. So, doing the, you can get this, see that? That's a nice, you can read that, see that? It's a nice groove that I put in it. I just find it, I think that helps penetrate. The water penetrate a lot better. Any given night, I can go through about a hundred of these. I'm not gonna bore you, I'm just gonna do a couple more. But you see, it's pretty easy. Get a nice sharp file. Usually, put enough pressure, you just have to do one, hold it in place, run it across, and then just put it on the angle. That's fine. That's more than enough. That's more than enough for the water penetrate. Now, if you remember from the last video, and a way I've done it for years, is I usually get a small container like this, fill up with water, put it on the grow rack, and it'll germinate after a week or, or so, sometimes a little longer. Uh, but what we found actually, uh, as this past year, that we found a, a much quicker way, and that's by doing the towel and seeds. And let me tell you, it's really, really incredible. So what you'll want to do is get a wet towel. Now I'm using a blue towel so that you'll see in a couple of days, you'll see the white stems that c pop out uh, will show a lot easier against this blue towel. So I'm going to continue on with those, but what you do is then you'll just want to line them up on the towel. Best as you can. They're going to move around, so don't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to do some more. You'll want to close it up, like I said, make sure it's moist. Sometimes you want to fold the ends. I'm just kind of doing this quick for the video. And then you're going to want to put it inside a plastic bag. Keep it wet in there, check it every day, make sure that it's uh, still staying moist. And you're gonna wanna put it in a cool, uh, dark place. So I usually do that above my refrigerator, the cabinet that no one uses. So let me run that over there and then we'll uh, take a look at it in a few days. Okay, it's been about five days and I've been monitoring them and let me tell you, they look incredible. Wait till you see this, you won't believe it. It's such a quicker method. Uh, some of these are falling out because they're getting so big. It's such a quicker method. Oh boy, look at that one. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Uh, that's the problem with moving around. Some of them might have broken off, but that's okay. Uh, take a look at that. Whoa, it's such a quicker method than uh, doing it in the water. And the best part of germinating uh, seeds this way is you get to see which seeds are good and which are not, or which one are bad. And these obviously all look great. Uh, we almost got, uh, you know, who knows? That one might have been one that broke off there, unfortunately. And uh, let's see, a uh, couple of stragglers, but uh, that's okay. We know they could have broken up, but look at, Look at the growth that I've had. These are just kind of amazing. This one's growing through again. I mean, it's really looking incredible. Um, it's, uh, this method is just, uh, we've been growing so many this way and I, I had to bring it to you and update this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these seeds, I'm gonna give them over to Jackie and she's gonna show you how we plant them. Thanks, Dan. You're right, these are looking great. So when we start our seeds, we actually don't start with the typical starter cells. Instead, what we do is we use the two and a quarter pot. Reason being is because it's taller and it will give the seeds more time to grow and it will be a lot easier to split when they get bigger. Now, when you have small seeds like this that just have a little nub, and I don't know if you can see that, but when they're that small, what we do is we plant about, I'd say about four to five of those in this pot. But 
if you have monstrous ones like this, I mean, look at these. These are absolutely incredible. What we do is we don't want to overcrowd them. So we actually plant about two, maybe three max in this pot. So what I start doing is I take a Sharpie and I take the end of it and I just put about, well, if it's going to be the bigger ones, which I'm going to show you actually, I'm going to put yeah, maybe about, I'm thinking two, only two, because these are pretty big. Okay, so let's start with this one. Put the seed part down in the soil like that. Be careful with it. They are still gentle and uh, they're fragile. They could actually break off. So you do have to kind of be careful with it. You could go a little bit deeper. You don't want to go too deep though. Right there. You can have a little portion of the top showing in the soil on top. That's fine. I'm going to do another one for you. Make sure the soil is a little loose. Again, these are so big, I'm actually going to do two in this pot. So do that. These are absolutely incredible. I can't believe how they germinated. Okay. And one more. Could loosen up the soil, actually. Put your holes. And you can use your finger or you can use the Sharpie. That's fine. And just plant them in there. Oh, these are actually looking like uh, ram's horns. <laughs> they're just, they're absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we did three. I'm going to continue with that. And like I said, what you could do actually, I'll give you an example. Now what I would do with the smaller ones that just have the nubs, I would just put about five holes. And again, with those, you really don't have to go deep at all. And you could take your tweezer or you could take your finger or whatever. When they're this small, I actually prefer the tweezer. And just plant it in there like that. And again, don't go deep with this. And just cover it with the soil and that's it. Okay. And what I always tell you to do, do not forget, most important, tag your seeds, tag your plants, tag your seeds, tag everything. So that's what I'm going to do. And these happen to be South Pacific orange can of seeds. And today's date. So there you go. That's all you need to do. Just give it some water, put it on underneath some grow lights if you have them. And that's all you need to do and Mother Nature will take its course. So there you have it. Growing from seeds really isn't that bad. I mean, I know it's a little bit of a hassle uh, to uh, store the seeds, but I mean, you saw how quick they germinate. Within five days, you're putting it in a pot. Um, you're going to put a, a rhizome in a pot and it's going to take a couple of weeks sometimes till you see any activity depending on the, the temperature you grow it in. So definitely give seeds a uh, try. Don't shy away from them. The beauty part of, uh, of having the seeds and germinating that way, you'll see which ones are good and which ones are bad. Uh, these all came from seeds and they're great and we love them and uh, we're going to have to split a few of them because like I said, they just uh, grow so well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you're trying, I hope you're growing cannas, and I hope you're trying to grow them from seeds. Because uh, really, just uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling to see them sprout up and grow into, in, into full mature plants. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. 
and be sure to hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. So until next time, from all of us at JD, yes we can. Uh.